support for New York's Democratic governor is weighed down after pushing through gun control legislation. What should that say to Democratic lawmakers looking to rush through legislation on Capitol Hill? Simon Rosenberg heads up the New Democrat Network. Sir, so you see on the state level, there are some governors, Governor Cuomo for one, um, his popularity may be going down as he pushes for more gun control. Maybe that's a sign to some of the senators on the Hill, they may not want to rush through this gun legislation. I don't think they are going to rush through it. I think this is going to be a deliberate process with both chambers weighing in. Uh, and I think hopefully we'll have a common sense, you know, bipartisan uh, package, you know, by the summer. I think that's what people hope. But remember, there are two polls out today also showing support for elements of what's being discussed in places like Kentucky and Texas. So I think there's a middle ground that can be forged here uh, in, the, in the next few months. But it, it seems to me that the, the Senate, now President Obama has given yep. the mandate, go forward with this, get this done. The Senate, yep. I'm waiting to see a vote. I have a hunch there are about 11 or 12 senators who are rated at least a B plus, if not an A, by the NRA, who may have gotten elected because of some of their gun um, stands, uh, stands on guns. I'm not sure, so sure they're in, in, in a hurry to raise their hand and say yeah or nay on, on a vote. <laughs> What's been interesting is you've heard a lot of senators in the last few days express concern about the assault weapons ban, but express greater interest in, in closing, uh, fixing up the background check system. I mean, I think you could see a package with uh, background checks, cracking down on gun trafficking and straw purchasers, uh, moving against high capacity clips potentially. I think that will be controversial. And, I, you know, I think you could probably get. A lot of support, whether it's enough to get over the finish line. We don't know for, you know for a package like that in the next few months. But look, this is going to be a tough debate. This is a tough issue. And, and I think, but it's going to be front and center in front of the American people over the next six months. And I think public opinion will either will harden around sort of an argument. And I think it's well, a little well, soft right problem, now. And we'll see. Simon, yeah. here's my problem. Public yeah. opinion hardens around, photo, um, yeah. around opportunities with, with um, Congresswoman Giffords yeah. up there and some of the, yeah. the parents from, from uh, Connecticut on yep. TV. I, I, let's pull this full screen up. I put this full screen together to yep. show you what is actually going on in America over the last 20 years. U.S. violent crime is down 49% from 1992 to 2011, the last available year. U.S. murder rate down 49%. Over about the similar period of time, 1994 to 2009, U.S. firearm ownership is up almost 90, almost 100%. So you can't you can't say pulling guns, whether they're assault or whatever type, high, high magazines, you can't say pulling them off the market is any indication that the country will be safer or the murder rate will go down. Well, I think that's what the debate's going to be, right? But I also think that if you talk to the police and the law enforcement professionals who've been instrumental in bringing the crime rates way down, violent crime, as you point out, is way, way down all across the country, which is why... I think this idea that there's a culture of violence in the United States is just false, mm -hmm. is that the cops will tell you the reason things are down is because of community policing and more police on the street and better and you know, smarter police. And they, won't, they don't believe that it's because there are assault weapons out in you know, rural communities getting crime rates down in urban areas. And right. so I think we should have this conversation. But, but here's I, the problem. Here's yeah. the problem. Yeah. Well, you, know, yeah. you know where violent crime and murder is not down? It's not down in the city of Chicago. 508 murders last year. It's up 17%. <laughs> yeah. you, you're laughing, yeah. but I'm going to tell you, yeah. they have a handgun ban in the city of Chicago. So yeah. the more gun control, the more gun laws is not helping at least that city get their murder but, rate down. But it, D.C. has seen its murder rate drop from over 800 a year just to about 100 last year. And there, are, there is gun control here. So, you know, I don't, I don't think it's a causal thing. I think it has to do with a broader so set of strategies. If it's not causal, and a broader I, set of I agree with you. It's not causal. Yeah. I agree. So let's not put more gun control because people, because there's a mass shooting up in Connecticut or one in Houston or one in, in, in Wisconsin. Well, we disagree on that. <laughs> you know, that's where the debate is going to be. And frankly, the majority of the country is ready for some kind of significant movement on this. And I think, I think both parties can come together okay. to get something meaningful done this year. Simon, we've got to leave it there. Simon Rosenberg, thank sure. you, sir. Thank All right, you. They were just